We're all looking forward to saving a ton of money, but somehow we all end up using them for various purposes. Here are some recommendations for frugal living that you may use to maximize your financial resources. Applying them will help you spend less and save more money. Make a few changes and form some crucial habits to live within your means and prosper financially. Welcome back to Frugal Life Hacks. In today's video, we'll see 15 frugal living tips to save you a ton of money. It's surely going to help you guys out to save some money for the future. So with no further delay, let's get into number 15. Number 15. Create your budget and track your needs. You must exercise spending restraint if you want to maximize your funds. Making a budget is one of the finest strategies to get to control over your spending. For some individuals, the term budget is like a swear word, but it doesn't have to be that way. Actually, setting objectives and creating a budget go hand in hand. When you're aware of your priorities and the things that are not essential to you, you can make a budget that takes these things into account. Reduce your spending on the things that don't matter to you as much and allocate your money for more priorities. You can regulate how you spend your money by creating a budget. Following the creation of your budget, make sure to keep track of your spending to ensure that you're adhering to it. Even though it may seem like a boring process, keeping track of your spending may actually help you to stay focused while managing your finances. Now let's get into tip number 14. Wait on purchases. Make it a point to wait at least 24 to 48 hours before making any unneeded purchases. You may prevent making impulsive purchases that result in buyer's remorse by developing this behavior. Spend some time considering your purchases. Be sure of what you need or want in the item, and be sure it's a wise use of your money. This practice, which I've personally developed years ago, has really benefited me. In fact, the majority of the time, I decided against purchasing whatever it was that I was debating. Number 13. Watch your recurring bill. Examining your monthly payments and subscriptions is a smart move when trying to reduce spending and boost your savings rate. Any money that you can save on a recurrent expense will increase your monthly income rather than being saved only once. You have two options, either attempt to reduce the cost of a bill or cancel a subscription. Depending on the type of bill, you might be able to access and choose a less expensive plan or bargain for a lower price. You might be able to reduce some regular expenses such as your gym membership, magazine or website subscriptions, cable or satellite TV, or any other services that you don't use or need. Number 12. Buy used when it makes sense. Many necessities may be purchased. The biggest obstacle is perhaps just adopting the mentality that buying a used item is preferable to going to a store out of habit. You may buy used things at a much lower price, including clothing, furniture, home goods, toys, kid and baby items, sporting goods, games, equipment, and even electronics. You can even shop at yard sales, flea markets, auctions, and thrift stores to find used stuff. In addition, there are a ton of websites like Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, and LetGo that are terrific places to look for bargains. Number 11. Look for low-cost entertainment. Finding free or inexpensive things to do rather than paying a lot for amusement is one method to save a lot of money. There are many options, whether you're single, in a relationship, or need to entertain a large family. I'm not saying you should never spend any money on entertainment, but most of the time employ free or inexpensive charges. Hiking, biking, visiting parks, and playing games are all fantastic possibilities. I hope you're enjoying this new stuff so far. For more of these, watch the rest of the video without skipping any. Before resuming though, please subscribe to our channel for more such amazing videos. Number 10. Avoid clutter. Although minimalism and frugality sometimes go hand in hand, you don't have to be a minimalist to value having less clutter. Eliminating the clutter in your home will help you realize that you don't need as much stuff, which might lead you to making fewer purchases. Along with that, clearing up your junk might bring in some cash. Many of the items you have laying around in your home are sellable. Number 9. Embrace small gains. It's simple to become overburdened with all of the numerous aspects of attempting to live a more frugal lifestyle when you're just getting started. Never feel as though you need to master everything at once. Take tiny steps and celebrate even the most modest of gains. Nobody will suddenly become perfectly thrifty after spending too much money. Develop behaviors that you can maintain in one area at a time while concentrating on it. 
and then try to add another. Number 8. Automate your savings and investments It's crucial to automate your spending objectives after you've established them. Otherwise, it's simple to revert to your old spending patterns. Automating your employer-sponsored retirement saving is an excellent place to start. Consider switching all of your bill payments to automatic next. Find innovative methods to automate your money by going through your accounts. Number 7. Get a part-time job Get a part-time job since it's a certain strategy to speed up your savings. Even if you can work in your neighborhood, occupations that you can do from home are frequently more adaptable. If you presently have a 9-to-5 job, you might want to look into remote jobs. There are a lot of intriguing choices. Finding something that you're interested in is crucial. Otherwise, after a long shift at your day job, it could be challenging to muster the energy to work. Number 6. Reduce the electricity bill There are several strategies to reduce your electricity cost. For instance, you might reduce the amount of time your air conditioner is used by utilizing fans while it's not too hot outside. To save energy, you can avoid using your oven on warm summer days. To save expenditures on your account, you can also wash your garments in cold water. You can save money by using a variety of economical strategies to reduce your power cost. Number 5. Learn to Bargain When you bargain or haggle with the supplier of an item or service, you discuss the price of that good or service. There are suitable options in which to haggle over price and incorrect situations in which to haggle over the price but don't be afraid to bargain a bit when the time's right. There's more to negotiating and bartering than simply bringing down the cost of an item. Number 4. Your Furniture A house must be furnished in order to be more useful and more comfortable, but this can be expensive. Avoid buying new furniture and get high-quality pieces for significantly lower costs. The cost of new furniture is almost always astronomically high, but used furniture may be had for a fraction of a cost. Start visiting yard sales, garage sales, the Facebook marketplace, or any other secondhand store for your furniture needs instead of spending your money at pricey home goods stores. Number 3. Phone Ideas There are many different phone plans available, but the majority of them are quite costly and provide several features you don't actually require. Spend some time researching and comparing options before committing to a cell phone plan. To avoid paying more than you require for a phone plan, keep in mind what you truly need. For instance, because so many locations now provide Wi-Fi, you might not need any data at all, or at least not limitless, which might significantly reduce the cost of your phone plan. Purchase a more affordable phone model to avoid lengthy, costly payment plans and save hundreds of dollars. Number 2. Shopping Groceries Nowadays, you can find ethnic shops or grocery stores in most neighborhoods, where you can frequently find fruit and meat that's not only cheaper, but also fresher. Ethnic markets place greater emphasis on raw materials than do the majority of supermarket companies, which result in fresher products at lower prices. If the non-perishable goods you frequently use are on sale at your local supermarket or grocery shop, stock up! Long-term financial savings aside, having a well-stocked pantry will prevent you from giving in to the temptation to order takeaway or eating out. And finally, at number one, transportation. For the pleasure of operating their own vehicle, and we're only talking about one vehicle here, the typical person pays nearly $9,000 annually. Many households own two automobiles. Even if these families have paid off one car, the cost of insurance, petrol, parking, repairs, and regular maintenance may add up very rapidly. Consider using public transit to go to work if at all possible. It costs 80% less than owning and operating a vehicle. You can also think about bicycling and walking if you live close enough to your place of employment. Consider maybe trading in your automobile for a more fuel-efficient model if two cars are required. Consider purchasing a more fuel-efficient, smaller, and subcompact automobile rather than an SUV or a bigger model. And with that, we have come to the end of this episode. If you like this video, then visit our previous content to get yourself more frugal tips. If you've enjoyed this video, then like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such amazing videos, and we'll see you in the next one.